All right. Some of you people might be wondering, why the hell do I like going to North Carolina? Well, here's what I'm going to show you. Down in North Carolina, uh, especially in the western part, there is lots of mineral deposits. Um, probably the most common uh, is quartz, uh, silica, um, kyanite is found there quite a bit. Um, garnet. Garnet is all over, um, as well as corundum. Uh, corundum is sapphires and rubies. Uh, lots of it. It's all over. Um, it actually stretches in a band from northern Georgia all the way up to uh, southern New York State. But it's most commercially accessible right there in North Carolina. Or at least it was commercially accessible back in early 1900. Um, mining started there somewhere around 1870 and continued through until about the 20s is the latest that it was mined there. And then it just sort of stopped, mainly because other deposits were found in different areas of the world that were more commercially accessible. That being said, the reason I like going down is all these pretty rocks. Um, I included a quarter and a ruler just for scale. I personally found everything here. This here has a lovely, nice flat surface. Seems to be fairly angular. This, as we... Focus on it. Focus, focus. There we go. Is moonstone. When cut and polished, this almost has an opal-like sheen to it. This is all over down there. Okay? So we have moonstone. Again, a large piece. You can see, it's a fairly large piece, that I found myself. We have various outcroppings of quartz crystals. These are actual crystals that were formed, but most often you find it in this shape. It's just a chunk. It's a chunk of quartz. It's not too pretty, but if you polish this, it looks really awesome. Some of the other things you can actually find down there are these. These are bits of pottery. This is uh, most likely Native American most likely from before the time of the white man. So, interesting. This is also quartz. You might be thinking it's purple and sort of orangey on the end. Doesn't matter, it's still quartz. Basically, purple quartz, purple translucent quartz like this, is amethyst. A lot of people don't realize amethyst is just purple quartz. I think... When it's orange on the ends, or orange in pieces, and amethyst together, it's called aventurine, but I, don't hold me to that, I can't remember. This is another little piece of amethyst I found, with all a nice little crystal structure. Come on, focus. And again, we have amethyst, and this is sort of a smoky quartz on one side, with a tiny little bit of amethyst on the tip. Now, one of the other things you can find in great quantity is garnet. Most of the garnet you'll find sort of looks muddy. A lot of times it ends up in this type of shape. Um, this is a different classification of garnet, usually referred to as iron garnet, than this. This is glassy garnet. There's another name for it, but I can't remember it off the top of my head. Um, but this, again, is a sample that I found myself. Now, I had one that was bigger than this. Much bigger. And I cut it. So this is what it looked like on the outside. Come on, focus. There we go. That's what it looked like on the outside. But I cut and polished the surface until you get a really cool swirly glassy pattern in the center. This is garnet. This is not the gem grade garnet. I haven't found any of that. I have found some stuff that is kind of clear-ish and purple-ish. But for the most part, you're going to find this stuff. This is also garnet right here. Again, it's just sort of a purpley, glassy chunk of mineral. Great abrasive. 
this here, these, are exactly what we're looking for. Get up close so you can see it. Doesn't look like much. But if you look at this one here, you notice in this light, sort of a purpley color to it. And this one here has sort of a reddish color to it. Not a lot. But notice that sort of sheen. This one has the same thing if I flip it over. Where is it? There. Okay. These are corundum. It is ruby or sapphire, depending on the color. Simple. White light. Now if I hold this up, you can see this is red. See that? This is what we're looking for. This is a mineral that is somewhat translucent and passes a red color. This one, look at that, purple. Beautiful purple color. This is a purple ruby, or could be purple sapphire, whatever you want to call it. This one, being red, is definitely ruby. Rubies and sapphires are both gem quality corundum. Now, so those two I found. Turn that off. Drop the flashlight. This one is one that I found. Now you'll see this has that glassy sheen to it. This is actually a twinned crystal. You have a crystal that's growing in this direction and a crystal that's growing in this direction. This one split along that line when I was cleaning it. But this... How do I pick up the flashlight? Also has a pinkish, reddish glow to it. See? So I'll put this one here so you can see that. I have found all of these. And again, turn the flashlight on. They are sort of a pinky red color. Sapphires, rubies. There. Okay? That's what we're looking for. When they are finished and polished, they look like this. And you will notice, as I shine the light directly on it, see the, the star, especially in the tiny one to your right? That's from tiny little inclusions in the stone that forms a six-pointed star of light in the center of the stone. Very cool. So there you have it. That's what we're looking for. And... Just to give you a bonus, one of the things that is very interesting about these guys, because they contain titanium dioxide, as well as aluminum oxide, but they contain titanium dioxide. Now if I shoot this, which you can see here, this is a UV laser, concentrated UV light. What happens if I hit these? See how it changes color to a pink? Same thing in here. They all have a reaction to UV light that causes a pinkish reddish glow. Very awesome, huh? Obviously that's what it looks like. Boom. Changes color as soon as it hits it. So there you have it, guys. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I hope you'll come and look with me for.